Hi, this is going to be an angel reading for the sign of Leo. Hello, my beautiful Leos. I have cards strewn all around here. <laughs> I just did so many readings right now. It's so funny. I did two readings for Cancer. So Cancer, your reading will be posted up soon. And I did um, the sexual energy read for Cancer. So I did Cancer's love reading today. And I did um, Cancer's sexual energy read that's going to be only posted on my patreon so okay let's see what your angel is wanting to know i will do your angel reading first leo and then i will be doing your love reading so we're going to dive right in i have my angels and ancestors oracle cards i have my whispers of love angels cards i have i feel like i had one more angel deck maybe not um, I have my grace cards and my dragon tarot. So we're going to pop right in. We'll start with the dragon tarot first. Okay, we're reading now for Leo. What messages do Leo's guides and angels want them to know right now about what they're going through for the month of March? What can you tell me for the sign of Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. We are reading now for Leo. What does Leo's angels want them to know? Let's do four cards to start, please. Leo, what does Leo's angels want them to know? Seven of Swords. Ooh, we. So this can represent either confidence, self-confidence, or um, somebody not being honest. To me, this the Seven of Swords is always like the manipulation card, the liar's card. All right, so beware of that energy around you, Leo. Someone is not being honest. Or someone is caught up in their ego. There's an energy of manipulation. Hold on. Depends on what cards come out after this. That one dropped. Hold on. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is a card. We're just going to keep it on the side. Because it's what I call um, a side energy card. We don't know if we're going to take it yet or not. See if it plays in with the energies. It's Page of Pentacles, so. Okay, one more for Leo. We have Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, Two of Wands. Whoa. What's going on with your energy in a minute, Leo? <laughs> what is going on with your energy? Hold on. You're ground after that cancer reading. One more card for Leo to start, please. Ooh, Leo. Okay. So there is this heavy energy of transformation. We got death. Okay. So we have seven of swords, page of cups, two of wands, death. Okay. So here's the thing. I don't feel like this is anyone around you that's being manipulative. I feel like honestly, you at this point, maybe um, you just were not being honest with yourself. This energy feels very like, um, I don't want to say self-sabotage, but it's this energy of not being honest about what it is that you want in your life, okay? But with the Page of Cups, I do see you moving on to other things. I, I see you opening up to new things. I see you testing out new waters. I see you um, going deep into your emotions where you thought you couldn't go before, learning new things, trying new things, because you are trying to figure out what it is it, that is important to you and things in your life that are important to you. One second. Okay, sorry about that, Leo. Um, people, my, my children keep waking up. Um, and um, I almost thought people keep waking up. <laughs> so my little guy is sick. And my daughter is also sick, so she was coughing, and then it woke the little one up who, you know, was uncomfortable because he has a runny nose. And so it's just a chain effect. And I gave my daughter some cough medicine, and my other little one is, is still not feeling well. So 
you know, it's sort of a train effect. When one gets up, they all get up. So, but their dad's in with them. So, okay. Because I do, I live with, we co-parent. That's, that's basically, that's all. So, um, but he's in there. <laughs> we are not together, but we co-parent. Okay. So, here's what your angels want you to know. You have been through a tough period, a tough time where I feel like you had a lot of self-doubt. But the Page of Cups shows me that you're learning a lot about what it is that you like and don't like, Leo. And it's going to help you in the next stage of your life. So right now, I feel like you're still grappling with these confidence issues, even though, you know, everyone seems to think, oh, Leo's like super duper confident and they have everything all under control and they know, you know, they got everything handled and they, they know everything and blah, blah, blah. And that's not always the case. And I know because I'm a Leo. <laughs> so, you know, um, there's this very strong energy of, still sort of grappling with those self-confidence issues, but I feel like you're definitely getting a handle on them, okay? This two of wands shows me some kind of a coupling or collaboration, um, partnership, which is going to impact your life in a very positive way. So take that how it resonates. I don't know exactly how that's gonna come into play, but your angels just, just are saying that again with the page of cups this could be um a student um a student teacher type bond that could be coming into play the page of wands you know can sometimes represent a student um it can represent someone who's willing to learn or take on the attitude of learning so you know this could be your energy um it could be you're that you're learning like I said it definitely feels like learning new things so but it feels like learning new things about yourself all right we are going to oh yes and see remember I said I kept this side energy there's that energy again so for some of you going back to school or learning a new trade is going to be heavy in this area right now and the angels are saying if you're thinking about doing something like that Leo then the angels are with you on this there's a heavy energy of learning new things. Now, this could be literal, like 3D learning, like going back to school, or it could be like learning, just learning things in general, reading books, um, going to the library, um, learning new things in regards to your spirituality, things like that, studying your spiritual path. Whoa. <laughs> this I don't know if it's this deck or if it's your energy. Let's get two more cards for Leo for their angel reading, please. I'm going to try to keep these readings under 20 minutes, these angel readings. Four of Swords. So a period of rest and relaxation, going within, meditating, prayer. All of those things are important to your growth right now, Leo. They are learning to seek answers within yourself. Trusting yourself. One more card for Leo, please. One more card for Leo. What do you want them to know? Judgment. Wow. So, if you have felt like in the past you have not gotten what you deserved, you may be busting your ass to achieve something. Um... You know, you've had a really hard time with a lot of things and you have had lots of huge karmic lessons, my Leos. There is definitely an energy of stuff shifting and you getting what you deserve. You've learned a lot from those past lessons and you've had to learn the hard way and it has definitely not been easy for you. I can feel this energy of like this heaviness, which is now shifting into blessings. There is an angel up here. This is um, an angel, but it looks like, I don't know. There's a very heavy energy of like a crow energy. Like, um, so crows represent mess messages and messengers. So it's very Hermes. Um, what is the other planet um, that represents communication? Jupiter, 
is it Jupiter? No, Mercury. Very heavy Mercury energy. So take that as it resonates. I feel like you're coming into a period where things are just going to shift for you very quickly, my Leos. You're coming into your blessings. Let's get a Whispers of Love card for you. See what your angels want you to know from this. Then we'll do your angels and ancestors and a grace card. Okay. What do you want our beautiful Leos to know? Our fire signs, our Leos. Oh, these cards are hard to shuffle. Okay, this one flipped. I don't know if we're going to take it yet. All right, it says focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. And is a woman and she looks like a sprite or like a fairy. She's talking to a dragon. So if you want to call in love into your vicinity, Leo, try to embody that love. If you, you ever heard the saying, if you want love, be love, you are love. So there's no need to search for it outside of yourself because you are love. But if you are feeling lonely and you are looking for love, then you need to focus on it. Okay, focus on seeing the good in everyone. Ooh, we have, so here's that card. It's a beautiful card. Let's see if I can get anything else from this. So the young sprites or um, nature, um, the little nature imp is talking to a dragon. And they're in a nice conversation so it's a very friendly energy. Basically, the, the little nature fairy or imp or whatever you want to call her, the little nature sprite, does not see um, someone that, she does not see this fierce, scary dragon. She sees an equal, someone to love, someone to be a companion to her. And she's not at all afraid of the dragon. She doesn't see him as less than her. Or more than her. She sees them as equal. And she's not afraid to bond with this creature that is she sees as an equal. She sees the soul of the creature. She doesn't see like, you know, what anyone, you know, most people would see a dragon and they're like running in the opposite direction. They're afraid. They're, you know, dragons are scary looking. She doesn't see that. She sees the soul of the dragon. She sees a companion and a soul. And that's number 24, which is the number six. Again, the six is the number of family and also spirituality. So heavy karmic lessons of spirituality coming through from your, from your angels. I almost said romance angels. Angels. This card is number 47. It says a physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. So a lot of you Leos right now are missing physical touch and it can be so easy when we're doing things like social distancing and going into hermit mode and spending time away from people especially right now leo if you are in hermit mode or if you've been isolating or you know social distancing um we forget how important something as simple as human touch is um, holding someone's hand, being kissed by a lover, um, even something as simple as being hugged by someone and feeling their heart chakra up against yours. Like, you know, for me, there's nothing and there's no greater feeling when I'm having like a bad day or a bad moment or a bad experience than to hug one of my children and feel their heart chakra right up against mine. That is a very calming experience for me and it sort of grounds me and centers me and reminds me of the love that I have and how lucky I am to be their mother so your angels are reminding me Leo that you know physical touch is important if you are missing those aspects then you know maybe even um then maybe you need to Spend some time with someone um, that is important to you and sort of get together and get into that intimacy. If you look at this card, this divine masculine is kissing this 
um, woman on the hand and it's sort of lighting her up. See, we forget how important physical touch is, that feeling of just being touched by someone and how it sets our soul on fire and lights our spirit up. Look at that. It's literally lighting her up. She's sparkling and glowing after one simple little kiss on the hand. <clears throat> okay, let's get one more of these cards for our beautiful Leos. Oh God, two flew up. Oh, three flew out. <sighs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna take them because spirit threw them all out. So we got romance, lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So again, this is another card of intimacy, connection. There is two people and they're dancing. So if there's someone in your life, like I said, Leo, that is important to you, it's time to show them. A simple dance in the kitchen might do wonders for you. Your angels are saying there is a need for romance in your life right now, Leo. There is a need for physical touch. There's a need for intimacy. Intimacy. Look, talking is a form of intimacy. Kissing. Dancing. They're cheek to cheek. They're enjoying each other's company. The woman in this is a mermaid. So very heavy Lemurian energy for some of you. That's going to resonate. This card is number 25. We got 24 and 25. So again, we're moving in steps. So for some of you, this could be a relationship that's blossoming. It goes from talking and intimacy, just simple talking, to a kiss on the hand, to a dance. Look, it's a progression, literally, right? We have 24, 25. You can't make it up. So for some of you, your angels are saying, this is a new love coming in. Okay. We have number 40, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So, and there's planets on here. There's Egyptian pyramids on here. There's a beautiful castle in the background. Look at this card. It's beautiful. So for some of you, you're not dreaming big enough. Find a dream and then focus on it and then double it, okay? Your angels are saying to you, Leo, anything is possible. What do you want? Whatever you want, you can have it. You deserve it. You can have it and then you can double it and you can triple it. Literally, the sky is your limit. The universe is yours. The universe is inside of you. Everything that you need, you can just manifest it. You just have to believe that you deserve it. So they want you to be in the present, but they also want you to dream big about your future. So be present in the moment, okay? When this, when this great love comes in, be present in the moment, and then dream of the possibilities of the future, okay? And what you want to achieve. Look to your inner strength. This is a master number 11. You cannot make it up, Leo. Beautiful energy. Look at this. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Again, this is very strong Leo energy. Leo, the card of Leo is strength, okay? You are definitely stronger than you absolutely give yourself credit for, my beautiful Leos. Take your growing confidence. Take this beautiful new love experience that's coming in and let it remind you of how amazing you are and how hard you've worked and how much you deserve this great love and all of these beautiful blessings that are coming in for you. I see a lot of rainbow blessings coming in. Look at all of this beautiful energy, this light. There's a rainbow. It's a woman. And again, very heavy Lemurian energy. She has like what looks like um, Lemurian crystals on her head, right? Those Lemurian quartz. That's what it looks like. She has a rainbow in her hair, which is symbolic of blessings. Um, a leaf on her neck, which is symbolic of the seasons and how there's a season for everything in your life, right? There's a season for winter when things are not are barren and things aren't really happening. But then there's spring and there's all this new energy and there's all this new love coming in. And there's autumn when you reap the harvest, right? And there's summer when you bask in, you know, the energy of warmth and love from the sun and the light codes. But this 
this woman is looking into this crystal ball and she's staring at um, another female in the crystal ball. So this is you. This is you seeing yourself in your new timeline. Okay. This is you seeing your potential and your, and your, what you're capable of timeline jumping you, your higher self, whatever you want to call it, looking down at your new self, this new energy of the possibilities of your new life. These blessings coming in are so amazing, Leo. I can feel them. And you, again, you got number 11, which is the master number. Oh, man, you cannot make it up. We are going to pull an Angels and Ancestors card for you and then a Grace card. Wowzers. I'm going to be doing your love reading after this. I'll probably do it tomorrow because I'm running out of time for tonight. All right, we need one Angels and Ancestors card for our beautiful Leos and then a Grace card, and we're going to wrap it up, Spirit. This has been a beautiful reading for Leos. All right, let's see what we got. One last card for this for Leos, Angels and Ancestors card. Woo! A little bit over 20 minutes. We're at 21, 24. One card for Leo, please. It's getting hot in here, too. I need to get out of here, open a window. Broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. Let's see what this is about. So it's an arrow. There's four, it's two arrows crossing each other. So again, this, there's been a heavy energy in all the signs of sort of being at a crossroads and a crossroads in your life. And it's going to be different for everybody, a feeling of not knowing which path to take. But I feel like you will know what path to take once you connect your heart space. And it says to embrace the energy of peace. So if you do that, you can never go wrong. It's a warrior symbol. I told you, you are a warrior, my dear Leo. You have been through a lot of shit. But you have picked yourself up. Okay, let's read it. Broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. Let go of the need to defend yourself and prepare to offer peace. You are safe. Just as the arrow card symbolizes defense and protection, the broken arrow card symbolizes peace. In Native American traditions, a broken arrow would mean that tribes were no longer fighting one another, but were making alliances. When you see a broken arrow in a meditation, a vision, a dream, or a reading, it is a message that you no longer need to fight because peace has arrived. Yes, I told you there has been a shift in your energy field. Your angels are telling you those energies that you had to be in, to survive are no longer valid. It is time to let go of them, my dear Leo, because peace has arrived. Peace has, I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> peace has arrived. You are safe. <laughs> this is a powerful symbol of harmony, serenity, and community. So all of those things that you learned in order to survive um, those feelings of having to protect yourself, protect your energy. Some of you have literally been in physical fights. And um, I know me, myself included, has not been an easy road. But peace has arrived. You're there. If you have been exposed to a situation in which you have felt the need to protect yourself or defend what you feel is right, Know that this is now coming to an end. With the arrival of the broken arrow card, you are being guided to know that the energies of light are entering to wash away all the darkness. Such a beautiful energy. You can drop your shields and protection. So drop the shield and the protection around your heart, Leo. You are now in a situation that will honor you and honor your needs. Arguments are ending and disagreements are being resolved. Prepare to talk things through and offer the peace that you would like to enjoy. In order to move forward in a more fearless way, it's important for you to let go of the idea that you can be hurt by this situation or the people involved because this will only work against you. 
Know that your angelic guides and ancestors are standing around you, protecting you, and taking you lovingly forward. Oh my goodness. And with that, my heart has cracked wide open. What a beautiful energy. So after this, I will I will do your love reading tomorrow. And then I will read and um, I will start Taurus's reading because Cancer was the most watched views on my channel and then Leo and then Taurus. So um, it will go in that order. So I will do Taurus's angel reading after I do your love reading. And then, oh, I'm sorry. I will do your love reading tomorrow. And then I will do your sexual energy read on my Patreon, Leo. So if you're into that, uh, it's going to be extremely racy. I mean, triple, double, double, triple X rated sexual energy read for your person, the person on your mind. I will tap into what they like at that time, their sexual likes and wants and desires. And you know, the energy always shifts. So what they like right now, they might not like next week, whatever. I'm tapping into their energy field, their sexual energy field at that moment. So, and before I forget to tell you this energy read right here, right now, your angel read, this is timeless. So if you're new to my channel, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. Your love reading, Leo, will also be timeless. Although that will be dated for March because I, you know, I have to put that on there just so people know when it's uploaded. Um, I might not even do that. I might just like upload them with the title and just stop like putting March reading because I mean, it's timeless and I, people get confused and they're like, what is this for March? No, it's timeless. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you. So, and if you're a past subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. You guys, I love you so much. Um, let's get your last card, Leo. There's two new ways for me to tip me. So if you hit the little, um, big mouth eats big number, little <laughs> symbol down here on the left. It's on the left. Okay. Depending on how you're looking at it, it's on my right. Cause it's, I always look on my phone, but it's like a little arrow facing down. Click on it. It's got my, um, description box and it's got all the prices for my readings if you want to book a reading with me Leo's that's how you do it you will email me please follow me on Instagram we can connect on there um, and there's two different ways to tip me now I have my new business um, PayPal Chakra Bunny and I have my new cash app Chakra Bunny so for those of you that have supported me thus far I'm super grateful for you all right, let's get one more card for Leo. And if you feel so guided to, please check out my son's channel. He's featured on my um, channel. He works very hard and he's just as delightful as, mother, as his mother. And please check out my Etsy shop if you'd like to. Okay, so we have beauty. Ooh, see, we, we. Let's get one more card. Whoa, that one flew out. That's definitely yours. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we have beauty. Oh, Leo. Surround yourself with simple pleasures. Beauty is the language of the divine. Yes, it is. So for some of you, you are taking in all of your surroundings. There is a very strong energy surrounding you, Leo, of sensuality and realizing that one of the things that is important to you is to have beautiful things around you, to surround yourself with beautiful things, soft things, sensual things, flowers, fluffy blankets, um, things that smell good, things that look good, things that taste good, fruits that are overflowing with juice, things that make you feel enticed. And that is what the simple pleasures of life is about. And your angels are saying this energy around you is very heavy. So indulge yourself with those luxuries, Leo. You deserve it. All right. And we have gratitude. It says, be thankful. A grateful heart is like a magnet drawing towards it a wealth of abundance. I told you, for some of you, the energy has shifted. You have so many good things coming in. It's because you have you have realized that this sort of attitude of gratitude like you know what people say attitude of gratitude having this attitude like i am so grateful for everything and even when life 
handed you curveballs and horrible, hard karmic lessons. You took it all with a grain of salt and said, okay, what am I learning from this? Okay, and like me, I know personally, anytime I went through anything hard, I remember still to say thank you. On the days when things were going well, I, I was like, thank you. And even on the days when I was on my knees crying and there was so much pain and sorrow, I still looked up with tears in my eyes and said, thank you. And it's because I was grateful for those lessons and because you were grateful for those lessons that we were able to move forward because spirit and ain't and all your angels have said you had a grateful heart. It didn't matter if there was pain in your heart or if there was suffering in your heart or if there was joy in your heart or if there was love in your heart. Each emotion that you felt in your heart, you still said thank you and you were grateful for it. And because of that, you deserve all of these good things that are coming in for you, Leo, because you had a grateful heart. And it is hard to keep a grateful heart when things are going wrong. It is easy to have a grateful heart when you when things are going great and everything's wonderful around you and it's all sunshine and fucking rainbows, right? But when things get hard, that is the real test. Can you still drop down to your knees and say thank you when your heart is pierced with three swords, when you're having heartbreak, when you've lost relationship after relationship, or when you've lost job after job, or you're struggling and your children are sick, or you know things are not going well for you and, and you just keep taking hit after hit after hit. Can you still stay grateful? Because that shows beautiful character, my beautiful Leo. And I feel like because you were steadfast in your gratitude, Spirit has seen your gratitude. They have seen your grateful heart. And you are going to be rewarded for this beautiful, humble, grateful heart. And it's going to be overflowing with love when all of your blessings come in from the divine. And look at this energy. This is a mermaid and a human, and they are bonding. Again, heavy Lemurian energy always coming through. It's also the mermaid represents bonding with the emotions, you know, being in, in the emotions of the emotions, but not letting them overwhelm you. It's beautiful. All right, that concludes your angel reading, Leo. I'm sorry, it did get awful long. I didn't mean for it to get this long. Um, I will upload your love reading tomorrow, hopefully if I have time and things go well. Bye, Leo. I love you. Mwah.